Well, we just went to the muskox farm that I was super excited about. We saw a lot of muskox. We did see a lot. There are a lot. Yeah, but you eye on this group, so we're gonna um, keep walking. A lot. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. The females only get to be about 600 and the males get to be about 800. There was a little baby named Bumblebee. That was sweet. But you didn't get to pet one. So I'm kind of bummed about that. And the tour size was just too big. There were like 20 of us. You know, just kind of walking through the fence paddocks, but but I got to see one because I'm afraid we won't see one north of Fairbanks because of the fires. They say it's rare to see them up there, and I think with the fires, it's probably driven them farther. So, but I got to see them. Yay! This is the um, Russian Orthodox slash Athabascan cemetery located in Eklutna, Alaska. And it has these spirit houses. It's kind of sad that they're in kind of poor shape. Um, when the Russian Orthodox priests arrived and converted um, the native Athabascan tribe Whose, whose name I can't pronounce, Dinania, uh, sorry about that. Um, their tradition, their dead death tradition, their burial tradition was cremation. And they would put the ashes uh, in uh, baskets and hang them in trees by rivers. But the Russian, Russian Orthodoxy said no, no cremation. And so they began to bury them following the Russian Orthodox tenants. So they would bury them and then they would cover the grave with a blanket to provide them warmth because there are so many days, I don't remember how many, between when you die and when your spirit leaves. And the little house was to provide you or spirit comfort and warmth as was the blanket. And as you can see, these have the three barred Russian Orthodox uh, crosses. So, oh, and some of the pastel colors are like the family colors, but I should have done a little more research on that. So every family, I guess, had their little colors. Some of these that are, that are newer are made out of metal. So they don't rot the way some of steel. these have, steel, sorry. So the way some of these have done, but I really, really wanted to come here 
but I'm kind of sad. And there isn't anything in them there, you know, beside the blanket that I think might even be under some soil, um, which is a little different than some of the old um, African-American cemeteries in the South where they would bring like their favorite bowl or their favorite cup um, and place those on the grave. This is the original St. Nicholas Church. Unfortunately, it is closed. This is the newer church built in 1961. The next stop was St. John's Cathedral in Eagle River, just a little north of Anchorage. It is a modern day Russian Orthodoxy church. And I wanted to stop there because I had read that it has a beautiful wooden geodesic dome. And it was just gorgeous. The iconography, the, the way the wood was used in the dome, just a really pretty church inside and outside. The Alaska Native Heritage Center is a gathering place and a museum for all people to learn about the indigenous clans of Alaska. Inside is a museum with art. Um, there are some indigenous people uh, selling their art inside. There's also a gathering place where you might get to watch um, traditional feats of strength uh, there, which we got to see a little bit of. Um, they also do the traditional um, singing and dancing there in that gathering place. six dwellings representing six of the clans and each of those dwellings would be how the people of those clans lived. Some of them were earth, surrounded by earth to help stay warm. Some of them were huge um, log structures made out of Sitka spruce. Air and on drum with respect is a wolf which is respect for land. At the bottom is orca or kill a whale that is respect for sea. And this drumming stick, some people call it big thumb, uh, is supposed to represent the artist's um, child. Blood or berries and the light blue from oxidized copper, which they value copper more than gold in this area because copper is much stronger than gold. By the chin piercing, they get at the age of maturity, which is about 15 or 16, and the copper earrings. The eagle and raven represent the two clans they have here, and then the designs of the raven is respect for ancestors and another box of knowledge. The best part, though, was that um, teenagers were on duty as cultural bearers who shared the stories of their people, 
who sang the songs of their people. Um, and they did a really good job. I was uh, very impressed with the knowledge and the ability of, for these young people to stand up and speak about their culture to complete strangers. Well worth our visit. Different high schools, and we would bring them here, and they had the option of uh, being a part of one to three or uh, three classes. So we had the traditional Alaska Native dancing, the traditional Alaska Native games, and also the traditional Alaska Native arts. So they had the option of choosing one of those three classes. Um, unfortunately, all of us up here on stage were not was not a part of the high school program because it dismantled back in 2019. Um, but Taylor, he's just uh, telling me that he has actually been a part of the program in the Alaska Native Games 